another day, another unrealistic kids show to tear apart, chew up, digest and stagger out. Okay, a bit weird. Anyway, what are we going to watch today? <sighs> Alright, sooner we start, sooner I can go home. Or to rehab. Again. Alice the platypus worked at the cafe at the end of the main street. <laughs> Alice loved working at the cafe. Who wouldn't, I guess? Ten hours on your feet in the roasting outback sun, your hands feeling like they've been grinding through the cement, cement mixture at the end of each day. Wait! That's my kind of job! I wonder if they take cats! And she always tried to do the very best job possible. <laughs> But on this particular day, Alice was feeling a little strange. <laughs> Since when did hiccups make someone jump two feet in the air like a bleeping kangaroo? Morning, Alice. Beautiful day, isn't it? Yes, Archie. It's a. <laughs> it's always a beautiful day on the show, mate. The writers and animators wouldn't know aesthetic variation if they hit them square in the neck as like one of those cement mixes I mentioned earlier on. Oh dear! Oh, no. oh. Everything all right? Hmm. Usually, when I ask a woman, everything all right? Just after she smashed her way through a mountain of pots and pans in the kitchen, I'm secretly wondering, is it really that time of the month again already? Uh, thought so. Ah. Mm -hmm. I'll have the usual. Thanks, Alice. She knows what his usual is? Guess he comes here often. Better watch the wait there, Archie. No crocodiles in the world are immune to obesity. Oh. I wonder what her boss would say about that. There you go, Archie. I thought so. You have the hiccups, Alice. Why ever didn't you say so before? <laughs> Sorry, Archie. It's just that I'm trying to do a good job, but it's very hard with these silly hiccups. Man, just wait till you have, you know, a real world medical problem! Yes. Meanwhile, back at the homestead, Frank and Buster were getting ready to fly into town. They need a plane to get into town? They remind me of the teens who have, who have the nerve to get a bus and only got one stop left to go! Hi, Mitzi. Hi, Ned. Hi! Wait, Ned's in this one? <sighs> there goes my plan to save the rest of my vodka as a present for my best friend's wedding. Can we pick up anything for you in town? Yeah, a script with some realism would be nice. Hi, thanks, Frank. I'm right, thanks. Okay, that bit of dialogue went absolutely nowhere. As did those four seconds of my life that I'll never, ever get back. Stand by for takeoff. I refuse to watch the following 50 seconds again. It's the exact same sequence every single bleeping time. So, I'm going to catch up on the latest issue of Drink Mixing Monthly. You guys will just have to cope watching it on your own, won't you? Chocks away, Buster! Chocks away, Franks! Get the gate, then! I'm getting the gate, Frank! Buckle up, Buster! Buckle up! interest of the magazine this month. Maybe next time I should just speed up the takeoff sequence. Oh, the wonders of modern editing. Such a time saver. What's that strange sound, Frank? Beats me, Buster. Come on, Frank, you're supposed to be the smart one. Oh, don't tell me every character in this godforsaken show has a brain the size of a half-eaten pea.
Whatever it is, it's coming from Alice's. Come on. Well, in my experience, Alice, the very best thing you can do for hiccups is to take a deep breath, hold it in, and... Oh, hello, chaps. Hello, Archie. Alice? What's up, Alice? Hello, hiccups! Uh, so dramatic. Hello, hiccups. Hmm. Alice, my friends, has a rather bad case of the hiccups. <laughs> Aha! The hiccups. I had the hiccups once. Cool story, bro. <laughs> if only I knew how to get rid of them. <laughs> Indeed. I'm sure we could come up with a few suggestions. Yeah, after all, we're, we're here to help. Now, drinking backwards? I've heard that works well. I tried that with my vodka once. Got a very sticky laptop indeed. Of course! That'll do it! Ooh. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Too bad no one was filming! Sorry! Never mind, Alice. I'm sure Frank will think of something else. Sure, let him do all the heavy lifting, why don't ya? Aren't these sorts of shows meant to promote the importance of teamwork instead of ignoring it? Sorry, I'm not being a very good waitress, am I? As the old saying goes, never trust a waitress, looks like she's just taking a shower in OJ. What can I get you two? Uh, two banana smoothies please, Alice. Alice tried very hard to carry on running her cafe, despite having the hiccups. <laughs> Two strawberry smoothies, just as you ordered. Hold on a minute! Two banana smoothies, please, Alice. You... you... I know what you're wondering. Uh, two viewers and the, and the answer is... Uh, that it is that time of the month. I'll try to stay calm. But, as you may remember, Alice was forgetful at the best of times. Oh, and the hiccups were making it doubly impossible. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, Alice. You're like a doormat, buster. A doormat that doesn't mind being smeared with dog snagger and then remaining unclean for 20 years or more. It's no good. I just can't work in the cafe with these silly... Hiccups. So sorry, the cafe's closed. What? You're. Oh, it makes sense now. The over exaggerated jumping, the spilling of the smoothies. It was all a devious plot to get out of your shift today, wasn't it, Alice? What's your secret? You can tell me. Please, we're both suffering at work. Get me out of here. Hang on a sec, Alice. Sucking a lolly. Yes, I've heard it often does the trick in bad cases of the hiccups. Absolutely! You know, I do like lollies, <coughs> and it might work. Might be any operative word. Come on in to Sammy's shop. <coughs> oh, here you go, Alice. The best hiccup stopper there is. As you've probably guessed, those lollies haven't been seen in Sammy's shop before or since. Thank you, Sammy. This lolly is mm, delicious. Get it? Because kiddos love lollies. And it seems to have done the trick, too. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sorry, Sammy. I just make a <laughs> mess wherever I go. <laughs> Sounds like my brother on this typical Saturday night down the pub. Oh, don't worry, Alice. It won't take a sec to clear up. Taking a shot for each time a character's been a doormat. Archie. Frank. Buster. Sammy. Oh, no. I... I don't feel good. Uh, oh, no. I think I drank a little too much vodka. It's not good. I'm going to go home now and stay out of the way before I cause any more trouble. Whatever happened to making contributions to society? Uh, if only there was a way. Hmm. Sammy, I think there is. Oh, Alice, wait. I've got one more idea. Ah, ah. 
the final solution. The characters in this episode seem to think having the hiccups is as bad as certain types of cancer. I think I might know how to get rid of your hiccups. I don't know. Do you really think it'll work? Imagine if it didn't. Think of all the thousands upon thousands of scarred children. Mommy, I can't go to sleep tonight if this hiccup starts. It's worth a try. You'll need to come over to our place. That'd be fun. Well, that's settled then. I'll just get my scooter. Meet you there. See you soon. Bye for now. You know, I was considering a drinking game of taking a shot every time Alice jumps when she hiccups. But then I realised I've got too much to live for. For once. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Nearly got it, Ned. Really, Mitzi? Look, here's Frank and Buster. And Alice. <laughs> Man, she's worse than Jono in the unintentional audio describing department. Hi Alice, what's up? I've got the hiccups. You don't say. Have you tried touching your toes? So that final solution thing Frank was talking about went absolutely nowhere. How unexpected! Oh, okay, it's worth a try. was beginning to think she'd never get rid of her hiccups. Mommy, I'm scared! Alice, we can try my idea to cure your hiccups, but you'll need to be brave. I'll do my best, Frank. You wait here with Buster and Mitzi. Ned, you come with me. What have you got planned, Frank? An aerial display, like you've never seen before. Oh. Ah, I see where this is going. Oh, I love those. Um, I don't have to go in the plane, do I, Frank? No, Alice. All you have to do is wait right here. <laughs> and, by the way, Buster, how is this going to fix my hiccups? He won't have the foggiest, will he? Um, I'm not exactly sure, Alice, but I know Frank will have it figured. I rest my case. So why are you going to do an aerial display, Frank? The only sure way to get rid of Alice's hiccups is to give her a little bit of a fright. Whatever happened to putting a poisonous spider under the toilet seat? You're in the bleeping Australian outback. The potential for cruel animal pranks is infinite. Ooh, are you sure that's a good idea, Frank? Ned, I think it may be the only way. Hiccups are not, I repeat, not a matter of life and bleeping death. Wow! Ooh. Run, run, Frank! Dumbhouse, go! Loop the loop and stuck! Go on, Frank! Oh dear, I can't watch! <laughs> Careful, Frank! Will he be okay? Maybe, but then again... You can never be certain. Oh no! Oh my god, do be careful! Oh, oh, oh. Too bad Ned didn't go up with you and forget to put his seatbelt on. See where I'm going with this? Die, no die! Alice was so busy being frightened, she didn't even notice that her hiccups had disappeared. Well done, Frank. Thanks for the show. Weren't you frightened, Frank? I was. That, Alice, was the whole idea. It was? Why? Well, haven't you noticed anything? No. <coughs> the hiccups, Alice, remember? Oh, that's right. They've... They've gone! Thanks, Frank, Buster. <laughs> so thanks to the Koala Brothers, Alice's hiccups were finally cured. And so is my alcohol addiction. Oh wait, 20 more seconds? 
your usual Archie. I thought his usual was a muffin and orange juice. You know what? I just don't care anymore. This episode caused a irritating reek of snaggers. Soon she was back running her cafe. In fact, things were right back to normal. New equilibrium! <laughs> well, very nearly normal anyway. <laughs> Nobody laugh when you have the hiccups, Alice. Bleep you and your bleepy cafe that closes when the slightest inconvenience occurs. Have you tried drinking from a cup backwards, Buster? <laughs> Touching your toes? <laughs> Sucking a lolly? <laughs> right, that's me done. I'm glad I didn't get too drunk to... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I'll beat. 